Hello everyone, today I'm pleased to be speaking with you about mixing ICI and CSI models for more efficient probabilistic inference. This work was a joint work conducted by myself, Michael Rohr, and Yang Xiang, and we are both from the School of Computer Science at the University of Guelph. The agenda for the presentation is as follows. First, we will discuss how Bayesian network conditional probability tables can be improved by exploiting ICI or CSI. Second, we empirically demonstrate the orthogonality of NAT and CSI models. Third, we discuss our extensions to the CPT tree transformation algorithm. Fourth, we discuss the mixed NAT CSI BN representation, our rationale for the representation, and a method to support inference on the MNCBN. We then offer an experimental evaluation before concluding with a summary of our contributions. Local models replace CPTs that grow exponentially on the number of parents in a BN family with an alternative model. Alternative models provide several benefits including a reduced space complexity, improved inference efficiency, and they also facilitate knowledge acquisition. Some local models such as Noisy Or, Noisy Max, De Morgan, and Nat exploit independence of causal influence, while others such as CPT trees, rule-based representations, and algebraic decision diagrams exploit context-specific independence. This leads us to our research problem. These local models exploit either ICI or CSI, but not both. Since ICI and CSI apply to individual families of variables in Bayesian networks, they can coexist in an environment. In such cases, methods that exploit one type of local model lose the efficiency savings yielded by the other type. In this work, we explore how to take advantage of both ICI and CSI in the same Bayesian network. A NAT model encodes a CPT over an effect and end causes. It expresses a mixture of reinforcement and undermining among the causes. To demonstrate reinforcement and undermining, consider the example of cancer treatment. Radiation and chemotherapy are more effective at treating cancer when both are applied. Similarly, surgery and clinical trials are more effective at treating cancer when both are applied. However, when the group of radiation and chemotherapy and the group of surgery and clinical trials are combined, their effectiveness of treating cancer is reduced. The NAT model in the figure encodes these causal interactions by combining two types of NAT gates. Both NAT gates accept causal events as inputs and output a causal event as well. The top two NAT gates are known as dual NAT gates and they model reinforcing interactions, while the bottom NAT gate is known as a direct NAT gate, which models undermining interactions. These causal interactions are highly expressive, reducing the NAT model to linear on the number of causes. On the other hand, a CPT tree model encodes a CPT over a child variable x and its parents pi of x. It exploits duplicated conditional probability distributions to encode the CPT more concisely. Consider the following example of a student's learning. A student's learning depends on their professor and their attendance. A student who attends class and has a skilled professor learns a significant amount. A student who attends class and has an average professor learns a small amount. A student who skips class does not learn at all. Hence, if a student skips class, the skill of the professor has no impact on their learning. It is said that the student's learning is contextually independent of the skill of the professor, given the context that the student skips class. Here we have an example Bayesian network family in panel A, with its CPT shown in panel B, and a CPT tree encoding the same CPT in panel C. The CPT tree is directed from the root downwards to its leaves. Each non-leaf, such as node A, is a variable in the parent set. Each path from the root to a leaf is a context of assigned values to some parents. For instance, A equals A1, R equals R1, is a context. Each leaf specifies a conditional probability distribution given the context. So for instance, this leaf here is specified by the context A equals A1 and R equals R1. The CPT tree encodes the fact that in some contexts, certain variables are independent of other variables. This reduces the number of parents needed to specify the CPT. For instance, when A equals A0, we do not consult R and S, since all CPDs with the context A equals A0 have a duplicate CPD of 0.1 and 0.9. Bayesian networks modeled with alternative local models are not directly compatible with standard BN inference algorithms. Methods supporting inference on Bayesian networks modeled with NATs include multiplicative factorization, where NAT model Bayesian networks are converted to equivalent efficient Markov networks, and decausalization, 
where not model Bayesian networks are converted to equivalent efficient tabular BNs. On the other hand, methods supporting inference on Bayesian networks modeled with CPT trees include CPT tree transformation, where CPT tree model Bayesian networks are converted to equivalent efficient tabular BNs, and variable elimination, where all non-query variables are marginalized out leaving the query. Moving on, a critical question that could undermine this work is, are the NAT and CSI models orthogonal? If they are not orthogonal, then the necessity of this research is nullified, since one model subsumes the other. This means that an inference method designed for the more general model could be applied to both local models. On the other hand, if they are orthogonal, then the necessity of the research is verified, since neither model can efficiently and exactly encode the other. We empirically demonstrate the orthogonality of the models in two parts. First, we test if a CSI CPT can be encoded by a NAT model, and second, we test if a NAT CPT can be encoded by a CSI model. To evaluate if a CSI CPT can be encoded as a NAT model, we tested 100 random CPTs, each with five parents and a uniform domain size of five. For each CPT, we created three new copies of it, each encoding a different CSI interaction. Thus, for each CSI interaction, this resulted in 100 seed CPTs, encoding the given CSI interaction, but with different values. We then ran NAT compression on each CPT to convert the CPT into a NAT model, and then evaluated the accuracy of the compression by the Euclidean distance and callback LiveWare divergence. The results are shown in the table. The first column indicates the CSI interaction added into the CPT. The second column indicates the number of parameters in the CSI model. The third column indicates the number of parameters in the NAT model, which is constant since the NAT model is linear on the number of causes. The fourth and fifth columns indicate the callback LiveWare divergence and the Euclidean distance respectively. The table is organized such that the CSI interactions with the fewest number of duplicate CPDs are at the top of the table and the greatest number of duplicated CPDs are at the bottom of the table. We observe that NAT models require 30 times fewer parameters than the CSI model, but they lose the exactness of the CSI model. Conversely, we test if a NAT CPT can be encoded as a NAT model. The key idea is that if a NAT CPT can be grouped into tight, disjoint, incompatible clusters, then the number of clusters is equivalent to the number of CPT tree parameters. To break this down, tight clusters mean space saving, disjoint clusters indicate each member belongs to one cluster, and compatible clusters refer to the context associated with each member value that they are compatible. The clustering itself is controlled by a distance parameter that places a lower bound on the distance between two clusters and places an upper bound on the maximum distance within a cluster. We call this parameter delta. We tested the clustering process with 100 NAT CPTs of five parents, where all variables are binary and a distance bound of 0.02. Hence, the NAT CPT would only need five parameters to encode each CPT. The modeling error is evaluated by computing the centroid of the cluster as the mean of its values and using NAT as the CPT tree parameter. We then compute the Euclidean distance between the NAT CPT and the clustered CPT. The results are shown in the figure, where the top number indicates the average modeling error and the bottom number indicates the standard deviation of the modeling error. Compared to the NAT model, which required the five parameters, we observed that all CPT trees require at least 17 parameters and they also introduce an error. In summary, the inability of the NAT model to exactly encode the CSI model, and the fact that the CSI model requires more parameters and introduces an error to model the NAT model, suggests that these models are orthogonal. We now move on to the CPT tree transformation algorithm. Although the idea was first illustrated by Boutillier et al.'s paper in 1996, it was shown with a simple example over binary variables. To generalize the algorithm from the original paper, our implementation generalizes the notion of CPT tree arcs. In the original paper, an arc in the CPT tree from a node is labeled by a single value in its domain, hence the path from a root to a leaf node encodes a single context. We generalize this to allow an arc to encode a subset of a variable's values. This means that a path from a root to a leaf node now can encode a set of contexts. For example, the rightmost branch, q equals q1, s equals s1, s2, now defines a set of contexts when q equals q1 and s equals s1, and it also defines a context when q equals q1 and s equals s2.
While in our paper we specify a formal algorithm suite, today we just demonstrate a multi-valued example on the Bayesian network family shown in panel A, with its CPT tree shown in panel B, and the resulting transform Bayesian network segment, which encodes the same CSI interactions while maintaining tabular local models in panel C. To our knowledge, no prior work has considered inference on Bayesian networks that exploit both ICI and CSI in inference. We encountered the following issues upon doing so. First, is it plausible that ICI and CSI can coexist in a Bayesian network? Second, what is a suitable representation for ICI and for CSI when modeled together in a Bayesian network? Third, how can efficient inference be performed on a Bayesian network modeled with both ICI and CSI? And we'll address each of these issues in turn. To address the first issue, since both ICI and CSI occur in individual families, it is plausible that both can exist in the same Bayesian network. In other words, some families will be ICI modeled while others will be CSI modeled. For instance, in the BN shown, it is plausible that the H node can be modeled by a CSI model while the G node can be modeled by an ICI model. The second issue we must address is the selected representation for each local model. For ICI, we focus on NAT models for several reasons. First, their ability to encode both reinforcing and undermining interactions. Second, their expressiveness as they are able to be recursively mixed and can encode multi-valued variables. Third, they generalize other ICI models, including noisy or noisy max, while having the same linear space. On the other hand, we focus on CPT trees for CSI because we wish to compute the posteriors of all unobserved variables with arbitrary evidence at inference runtime. Inference methods designed for CPT trees support this requirement, while the inference methods designed for other CSI local models, such as rule bases and algebraic decision diagrams, do not support this requirement. We define a Bayesian network modeled with both NAT models and CPT trees as a mixed NAT CSI Bayesian network. An example mixed NAT CSI Bayesian network is shown here, where node H is modeled by a CPT tree and node G is modeled by a NAT model. And in this example, all variables are ternary. To conduct inference on an MNCBN, we outline the following framework. The framework takes an MNCBN as input and outputs a homogeneous standard BN that encodes the same joint probability distribution while maintaining a smaller tree width than that of the MNCBN. We refer to this result as a decausalized and transformed BN. The main steps of the framework are to decausalize all NAT models and network transform all CPT trees. While the resultant DTBN is compatible with many standard inference algorithms, the DTBN can be compiled into a junction tree where lazy propagation can then be performed efficiently. Applying the inference framework to this MNCBN results in the following decausalized and transformed BN. While the resulting BN may appear more complex, significant savings are achieved as the MNCBN has a total CPT size of 4506 and a largest CPT size of 2,187. In comparison, the DTBN has a total CPT size of 1,267 and a largest CPT size of 243. In previous work, NAT modeling was applied to approximate eight real-world BNs from the BN Learn repository with reasonable inference errors. CSI has also been identified by others in various real-world datasets, including biological datasets, BNs in the BN Learn repository, and other UCI datasets. In this experiment, we test the two binary BNs, Andes and Win95 points, from the NAT modeling study for the existence of CSI local models. Each family in the BN with two or more parents was clustered with a distance bound of 0.02. The results of the clustering are presented in the table. The first column indicates the Bayesian network. The second column indicates the total number of nodes in the Bayesian network. The third column indicates the number of families processed, or equivalently the number of families with two or more parents. The fourth column indicates the number of parameters in the largest CPT in the Bayesian network. The fifth column indicates the maximum number of clusters required to cluster a CPT in the Bayesian network. And the sixth column indicates the total Euclidean distance of the clustering. The results were promising such that the error for Andes was zero, indicating all values are identical and the error for Win95 points is reasonable with a small Euclidean distance error of 0.041. Collectively, the NAT modeling study, the other studies exploring CSI and real-world data sets, and our experimental results suggest the coexistence of NAT and CSI in real-world BNs. 
The second experiment evaluates computational gain by mixing NAT and CSI models. We simulated 300 MNCBNs, each of 100 binary or ternary variables. Of the families of two parents or more, 50% are NAT modeled and the remaining 50% are CSI modeled. Each BN had at least two nodes with 12 parents, which was the upper bound on the number of parents. Of such nodes, at least one was NAT modeled and at least one was CSI modeled. The number of duplicated variables in a CPT tree results in loops and an increased tree width in the transform structure. We tested various values of duplicated variables, 0, 2, 4, 7, and 10. BNs were also simulated with a density beyond singly connected of 5 and 10 percent. And for each combination of variable duplications and densities, we simulated 30 topologies. Every MNCBN is then converted into four standard BNs, each encoding the same joint probability distribution. The first BN, denoted DNT, is generated by decausalizing NAT models and transforming CPT trees. The second BN, denoted DNN, was generated by decausalizing NAT models and normalizing CPT trees. The third BN, denoted NNT, was generated by normalizing NAT models and transforming CPT trees. The fourth BN, denoted NNN, is generated by normalizing NAT models and normalizing CPT trees. Each resultant BN is then compiled for lazy propagation inference. Ten runs of LP inference are performed, with evidence entered over ten random variables. The graph shows all density beyond singly connected and number of duplicated variable combinations. The DNT method is highlighted in red. In all panels, the normalization and normalization approach, NNN, is the slowest. Both DNN and NNT are advantageous, even though they only exploit one type of local model. DNT is, on average, two orders of magnitude faster than alternatives, demonstrating a clear computational advantage of exploiting both NAT and CSI in MNCBNs. Lastly, the relative performance between DNN and NNT is indiscernible in the figure, and this could partly be due to the existence of normalized CPTs. Our third experiment aims to evaluate the relative performance between NAT and CSI, without the added noise of normalization. This is achieved by generating 300 distinct directed acyclic graphs, each of 200 binary or ternary variables. The largest number of parents per node is 12, and each DAG has at least four such families. While the DAGs are not affected by the number of variable duplications, we generated 30 DAGs for each combination of a variable duplication and density, hence we include it for completeness. We use the values 0, 2, 4, 7, and 10. And for the density beyond singly connected, we use 5% beyond singly connected and 10% beyond singly connected. We converted each DAG into two BNs. NMBN, where each family of two or more parents is NAT modeled, and CMBN, where each family of two or more parents is CPT tree modeled. Hence, the pair share the same DAG, but they differ in JPDs. We then decausalize the NMBNs and transform the CMBNs. Each standard BN is then compiled into a junction tree for lazy propagation inference. Ten runs of inference are performed, each with different observations over 20 variables. In the figure, we observe that the CPT tree inference runtimes by the black boxes and the NAT model inference runtimes in the blue boxes. Runtimes of the NAT model Bayesian networks are the least even relative to the most efficient CMBN, with zero variable duplications. This is confirmed generally by the fact that every node in a decausalized Bayesian network is restricted to at most two parents and is guaranteed to have no loops. By contrast, certain nodes in transform segments are bounded by one plus the domain of the child variable, and they may contain loops. In summary, our main contribution is a framework to mix ICI and CSI local models in Bayesian networks for more efficient inference, we demonstrate NAT models and CPT trees are suitable ways for mixing. We combine decausalization and transformation to obtain a homogeneous representation, BN segments, for exact inference. We obtain a significant speedup of two orders of magnitude in inference relative exploitation of only one type of local model. We empirically show their orthogonality such that neither model subsumes the other. And we also extended and formalized CPT tree transformation. Thank you.